You might have an assignment in Canvas to write a paper and then submit it through Canvas, but it will go through Turnitin. And Turnitin.com is a separate website. In this case, it's integrated directly into Canvas, so you should not go to Turnitin.com. I repeat, do not go to Turnitin.com. What's going to happen when you first go into the assignment, you will find instructions from your teacher. It will have a prompt. It might have a link to a document to use. Um, you're going to do whatever that assignment might be. And so here is just a sample Google Doc that I used as my example of my essay that I'm going to turn in. Now, here it says, again, you're going to submit your assignment here in Canvas. Do not go to direct directly to the Turnitin.com website. If you go to the Turnitin.com website and you submit your assignment there, your teacher will not see your assignment. Now, the first time I go in, I see this message here, a user agreement for Turnitin.com. I am just going to scroll down and I am going to click on, actually I need to scroll right here, I need to click on I agree. So now I see the upload submission, and this is where I'm going to turn in my document. And I have three different options. One is to upload the submission, and this would be if I actually had a file saved to my computer. So if you're on a Chromebook and you're using Google Drive, you do not have a file saved to your computer. It lives in Google Drive. This would be if you're on a PC or on a Mac. Um, or you particularly downloaded a Google Doc onto your device, which could be a Chromebook. So if I went up to File, Download, and Download it as a PDF. So that's when I could use Upload Submission. Text Input allows you to just type in your document straight here. It's hard to see, and it doesn't save your work in progress. So I recommend that you do not use Text Input unless it's for a small, like a paragraph, for example. Cloud submission is what you are going to use to connect to your Google Drive. You're going to click on Google Drive. It's going to ask which account you want to use if you have multiple accounts signed in. And then next, you are going to be able to select a file. My sample document that I did is the first one here because it's the most recent document that I've used. I'm going to click on it so it has this kind of blue um, highlighting. And then I'm going to say Select. Now it gives me a preview of my essay. I can see it's one out of one pages. Uh, if I click Preview Submission, it will open up and allow me to see it a little bit better but I'm going to choose Submit to turn it in. And then it says my submission is complete. I got this check mark, and I didn't even have to click the X yet to get out of it. It just timed out and brought me here. And I can see that I uploaded my document on August 21st at 9.32 p.m. So this is my receipt that I have submitted my assignment. And even though it was a Google Doc that I got from my Google Cloud submission, it adds it as a PDF. So it automatically makes it a PDF to submit. And over here on the right, I have a few different um, boxes. If your teacher allows you to resubmit, you will find the resubmit paper here where you could resubmit the assignment. And again, that's only if the teacher has that turned on for this particular assignment. I could also download my paper. So if I wanted to download this as a PDF to see exactly what it looks like, I can do that here. And then over on the right is the download digital receipt. So if you click on that, it will show you a document down at the bottom left of your screen on Chrome, um, wherever it downloads on whatever browser you're using, you'll find it. And it has a submission receipt from Turnitin.com to show where and when you submitted it. Now, when your teacher grades it, you'll see the grade here, and you'll also see the um, the plagiarism percent or like what match it shows to other documents that are on hand um, if your teacher has that feature turned on. Sometimes it's turned off and you can't view the percentage. Um, other times it's turned on. I could also go over to summary over here, and the summary gives me 
um, the assignment settings, when things are going to be released, due date, etc., and what settings were turned on. So resubmissions are allowed, late submissions are allowed on this particular assignment. And then the similarity report, that's going to be the percentage, is available immediately after submission. Right now, oh, when I go back, I can see that it's 0%. It, so it matches um, no other documents or text. So it takes a, um, it's not completely immediate. It takes probably a minute or two, but I can see my report now, my similarity percentage.